Welcome to Heyman Reefs. What we're going to show you today is a weight distribution system and how using the system will restore the correct geometry of the vehicle when towing with your caravan. The most important factor is having the vehicle as stable as possible when you're driving the car by itself, let alone when you're trying to tow two tonne or three tonne of caravan behind you. So to do that, we can show you that the actual kilograms of weight shifting between the car on the axis in particular will alter the behaviour of the vehicle when the caravan's attached. On the scales here, at the moment we can see we have roughly 1150 kilos of weight on the front axle and about 1,030 kilos on the rear axle. We thank you So the car looks terrible, it looks like it's out of shape, it doesn't look like it's going to drive very well on the road. From a kilograms of weight point of view, we can now see what happens to the axle loads in the car. We had 1150 kilos on the front axle. Caravan attached, and now about 1,090 kilos on the, on the front of the car. So we've lost the best part of about 60 kilos of the front axle of the car. At the exact same time, we've increased the rear axle load to 1,240 kilos. So we've increased the rear axle load by about 210 kilos. Doing this has now changed the geometry of the car. Your steering is now not as efficient as it was. Your braking is now going to behave differently. Your rear tyre wear, you're now going to get an uneven or unusual rear tyre wear because there's too much weight on the rear, rear tyres of the car. This causes you to spend more money on tyres on a shorter time. What all, also happens is this additional load, so you're going to use more fuel because it takes more engine power to turn those tyres. More engine power, more fuel, more fuel, more money. So we can restore steering, braking, fuel efficiency and your tyre wear just by having the correct weight distribution system installed. What also happens is under heavy braking conditions, the weight of the caravan will cause the back of the car to go down even further, therefore decreasing the steering and braking efficiency even further. To make it easier and safer to install the spring bars, we use the jockey wheel. So we use the coupling lock on the tow hall, using the jockey wheel, we raise the back of the car on the front of the caravan. Installing the spring bars is as simple as putting the bottom locator in the hole, rolling the spring bar over, sliding it around, and connecting the chain link onto the snap up bracket. Using the right chain link is determined by how much lift you need out of the back of the car and the front of the caravan to correctly balance the weight over both axles. So by using the jockey wheel, you can now lift the spring bar a lot easier into place the jockey wheel has carried the load for you, not you trying to lift it yourself. Spring bar on, safety pin in. We can now go back and have a look at the weights and how they've transferred over both axles of the car. We had initially 1150 kilos. It decreased to 1,090 just purely by adding this ball weight to the back of the car. Spring bar's installed. We've returned all that 60 kilos that we lost, but added about 70 kilos to the front axle. So although we've increased the actual load, we're increasing it by a percentage. When we look at the rear axle, we had 1,030. It increased to 1,240 kilos. So instead of removing all that weight, we removed the majority of it, but again, left about 45 kilos in the rear axle of the car. So while both weights have gone up, both of them have gone up by roughly the same amount from a percentage point of view. And it's the percentage balance from front axle to rear axle which is the important factor, not the actual kilograms of weight. So at this point here, with the balance correct, your steering is back to normal. Your braking efficiency is back to normal. It's not going to be affected from that decrease of load on the front axle. Your rear axle is now going to be restored back to the correct geometry. You don't have Oh, it just increases the stability and control of the vehicle when you're driving.